Alright, it's up? What's up? Oh. It's pandering. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe. Make sure I've you never subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a like, comment, all that all that yeah. jazz. Yeah. Rassy right, Village. You guys having fun? Yeah. 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 Having fun. Hey, ball. Nice gun right so. here. Pinball or die. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hey guys, what's going on, PB Panda? And today I'm actually going to do a little bit of a commentary throughout this video. Um, I thought I would do a commentary because a lot of things actually kind of happen in this video. Nothing really crazy, but near the beginning it's a little bit confusing. I want to clarify that and also might as well just make it this video a commentary while I'm at it, right? But, um, so I left you guys off in the last video of Decay Nations where... Uh, no, me and some guys on the stock class, like so-called stock class, were there. running in the middle with some mechs, and there was absolutely nobody in the middle when it comes to Ekron. Ekron had nobody in the middle, and I found that kind of confusing. So when I actually got shot at the end of it, I came back, and I'm telling, right here, I'm telling everybody that the field is China Beach. That was the field I was looking at the whole time, and you're going to see a lot more of that field on this video. But, but as fuck over there. that field yeah, no, was practically no open the entire time, and I wanted to like just walk through it, but I didn't have enough, and not a lot of the stock class guys wanted to walk through it, actually, and also none of the mechs were going to follow us because they weren't told to. So, I didn't go through it like I wanted to, but here, we actually bought, a UNA purchased us to have... Um, yeah. have us help them out. Their mission was to hold a bus that's near th our uh, starting point. Yeah. We well, saw me standing on top of the hill. There's a plane there. On the other side of that, there's a van. So if you look straight over there where I'm looking now, um, there's a van there. And UNA is supposed to hold that for 30 minutes. And our job is to help them hold it. As well as what my plan is, is what I'm telling Jeff right now, is have half of uh, UNA and half of our guys go left to where a lot of the fighting is going on and then have the other half of our group go straight down the middle because the thing is Ekron's being told to go all the way to that back field and no one's even pushing the middle so I'm trying to get some of our guys to push the middle at the moment and it does end up working a little bit uh, half of, like it works out half of their guys and half of our guys go out into the open uh, field while we uh, the other half takes the center with the mix now Ekron gets through the middle and they manage to see all of us just standing around so they actually start laying down fire on us and I'm going to be running over to where the mechs are and while I'm at it, why not fall into the sand and get everything all dirty? All right, they're pushing middle. They're pushing middle. They're pushing the middle. Now, right here, actually, a lot of confusion happens. A me uh, Ekron, one of Ekron's mechs, actually appears in the middle of the row where everyone's looking at now. While at the same time, U and A is from the city is actually shooting us in the woods. But the thing is, um. The guys in the city did not know that uh, you, that they purchased us, and basically we're getting friendly fired from UNA at the moment. So UNA is shooting UNA, but I remember that Eric is right next to me. Eric is one of my teammates on ODSC, and he has a havoc launcher on his mostly like SMG. And I know one thing he really wanted to do throughout the weekend was to shoot, uh, was to kill a mech with it. So I'm telling him, hey, there's a mech over here, but he hesitates a little bit and he's someone out. else takes it, out. Out. which is fine. We just need the mech gone. But as soon as the mech's gone, a few Ekron forces come up and no one shoots them. No one starts shooting them. I literally have to just stop and say, hey guys, there's over there. There's people over there and I start shooting with Eric. And then as soon as we start shooting, Ekron starts shooting back, of course. And then the rest of you and they start shooting Ekron. So. A little bit of confusion going on there, but it works itself out because we started shooting everybody. But right here, I actually took a shot to the face. I shot, got a shot to the side of my mask. And what's unique about um, Decay Nations is that they use death cards instead of medics. So basically, all players get four death cards, and throughout the day, um, you're allowed to use them. And what you have to do is you pull out one of your death cards and you give them to a ref. And that is basically the same concept as um, having a medic. medic. Once you give the card to a ref, then you are 
able to continue playing even if you're shot. It's kind of like I said, it's kind of like a medic where um, if in the game, if there's a medic, medic comes and tags you in, tags you, you are able to play from where you from where you are. You don't have to walk all the way back to your respawn, which is what essentially these death cards are. They're very different, very unique. Um, not too many games use something like this, so uh, makes this game a lot more interesting. So right now I'm just trying to clarify that um, UNA knows that UNA uh, pe the people on UNA in the city know that their guys are in the forest working with us at the moment. Well, you guys gotta hold that plane. Oh fuck. Here I almost take a oh shot God, to the nuts, uh, but a branch was in the way, so the paint actually hit the branch, and the paint splattered onto where that area is, and I'm just really happy that branch is there, because that would have hurt very much so. So here I'm trying to get up to Eric. Eric's a little bit ahead of me. He's right in front of me, like I'm looking at him quite a bit, and I'm trying to get this... Um, Mac. Get this guy in the Mac. suit to help me walk over to him because we're getting quite a bit of fire. And I'm moving um, here, my what actually is happens is there's this ditch right here, and he gets stuck in it. So I actually have. So I'm like, oh man, I'm sorry. sorry. Didn't did not know that ditch was there. The He's like, well, you better move oh, because we're getting shot on. at. So I'm like, okay, I'll move since we're kind of stuck here, like you said. Also because Eric's moving up, so I'm going to take his spot in just a second. And I do a radio call, but I edited that part out. Just to, it was just a simple radio call saying um, where our mechs are and where we are. And then I move up to where Eric is. And while moving up to Eric, I find one of his mags. Because he's using an SMG. He has a bunch of Zeta mags. And they're easy, they're lightweight, and they're really easy to fall out of your dump pouch. So, Eric... Well, uh, Eric's dropped quite a few that weekend. He didn't lose any, remarkably, just because people, because our friend, because his friends like me and uh, some other guys kept picking him up throughout the day and giving it back to him. But here we're using uh, these two uh, guys in the suits. One of them's a mech. The other guy, I don't fully remember what he is, but he's not a mech. Uh, they cl he's classified as something else. But we got the mech and we got the other guy. Um, so we're using them as shields and we're going to start marching forward. Right here. Trying to advance, but the thing forward. is, all the enemies are longballing us. They're pretty far away into the woods, and they're just longballing us. So a lot of paintballs are just bouncing off of our feet. Um, and the, and the mech tells me to start shooting at them, but the thing is, since they're so far away, I know that my shots are going to probably bounce off them because they're really far away. Also, it's really hot, so the paintballs are actually a little bit swollen. So I know if I take these shots, they're not going to do any real effect. I do take a couple shots just to lay down some fire, and just let the guy, um, just let the echo know that we do have some firepower. We'll shoot back, but nothing else really happens. Honestly, we keep moving up slowly with these mechs, and I eventually get shot in the thigh, I believe, and I walk out from there. And I don't really come back to this position because I ran out of ammo, and I need to go refill my mags and such. So, here's me walk, walking away. Um, like I said, I don't know what happens uh, after this. I almost fall in a ditch in a second, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. hope you guys enjoy the commentary. Um, not the most exciting commentary, I know. Not the most exciting gameplay, but I'm just wanting to try to get you guys, give you guys as much footage from Decay Nations as I can. Because it was a fun event, and Here's I think everybody should at least come out and play them. this game one be once because of the woods as well as the city. Very different play styles, very fun. But that's about it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and I'll see you guys on the field. Later.